Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to every NFL team's biggest draft bust ever. So, obviously, that's pretty freaking self-explanatory. We're going to be going over the biggest bust from every single NFL team. Let's just do... We did yesterday's video since the year 2000. Let's do it since the year 2000 with this video, too. So, obviously, today's video is NFL Draft theme because tonight is going to be the first round of the 2018 NFL Draft. And with that said, would you guys let me know in the comment section below who you want your favorite team to draft in tonight's first round. This video possibly has the potential to trigger some people, but if you think I get it wrong, I guess, like, let me know who you think your team's biggest draft bust is in the comment section below. But, yeah, the aim of this video is not to trigger people, but like I've seen on my channel the past couple weeks, that's almost impossible. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video, and if you do, make sure to drop a like on the video because every like really does help out the channel a lot. So let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Once we do hit 200,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a massive console giveaway to you guys. So be sure to subscribe to have a chance to take part in an incredible giveaway. And if you want to have another chance to win a console, I am doing an Instagram console giveaway. Once we do hit 10,000 followers, so be sure to go follow my Instagram if you haven't link in the description box below Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell and have it selected to all videos Do not miss any uploads on the channel and starting today I am gonna start shouting out a comment every single video The comment is gonna be from the previous uploaded video and one of the first 15 people to comment will be selected to be shouted out for my next video So make sure you have notifications on to have a chance to be shouted out as always hang in their merch top of the description box below Every single dollar earned from the shirt sales is going directly to charity getting so close to our goal of shirt sales so be sure to go buy a shirt to be a part of a great cause while also rocking some awesome merch long intro rbt over with let's get into the rest of the video san francisco 49ers steve spurrier the third overall selection now i do know i said in my intro i know i know i know i said i was only going to do the past 20 years but when doing research there was a lot of very obvious picks that i should have in this video instead of players that were drafted more recently but if there was a chance for me to pick a player from the past 20 years i did it but there are definitely some players in this video that weren't selected in the past 20 years hopefully that doesn't make you upset but steve spurrier the third overall selection definitely was not as good as a third overall selection should be he barely even started his career chicago bears kevin white seventh overall selection in the 2015 nfl draft this guy's barely played since being drafted it was, it was hilarious because everybody or a lot of analysts was saying he should go ahead of amari cooper see how that ended up cincinnati Bengals akali smith third overall selection he ended up in his career with five touchdowns and 13 interceptions that's for his whole entire career as a third overall draft pick Buffalo Bills EJ Manuel 16th overall selection as we all know things didn't necessarily pan out for EJ Manuel in the NFL now as a backup with the Raiders Denver Broncos Tim Tebow 25th overall selection and I did this on purpose I'm not gonna lie I did this just to make people mad I'm a Tim Tebow fan but obviously when you're a first overall selection he's out of the NFL so I mean didn't end up being a franchise quarterback for the Broncos, that's for sure. Cleveland Browns, Trent Richardson, third overall draft pick. And this one just blows my mind, because as an Alabama fan, watching Trent Richardson throughout college, he was so dominant, and I thought he was such a for-sure thing, and apparently the Browns did too. But as you can see from this picture, <laughs> things didn't necessarily pan out for Trent Richardson either. And his current team is the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bo Jackson. First overall selection. Now you might be asking, Bo Jackson, why is he in this video? Because he was the number one overall draft pick for the Buccaneers, and he never played a game for him. He never even signed for him. So that was a wasted pick. Arizona Cardinals, Matt Leiner, 10th overall selection. Ended up his NFL career with 15 touchdowns to 21 interceptions for a 10th overall selection for a player that was supposed to be a very good starting quarterback. Hasn't played in the NFL for more than five years. LA Chargers, Ryan Leaf, second overall selection, and widely known as the biggest draft bust in the history of the NFL. The player picked right before him, Peyton Manning. How did Peyton Manning and Ryan Leaf compare? Ryan Leaf's NFL stats throughout his career, 14 touchdowns, 36 interceptions. Kansas City Chiefs, Tom Blackledge, seventh overall selection. 
Another player that was drafted very high that was supposed to be a good starting quarterback and wasn't. Threw 11 more interceptions in his career than he did touchdowns. Indianapolis Colts, Bojan Warner, 24th overall selection. He was drafted only five years ago and is already out of the NFL. Never even hardly got to play for the Colts because he was not good. Dallas Cowboys, Morris Claiborne, 6th overall selection. Now, the Cowboys don't have that many big draft busts throughout their draft history, but Morris Claiborne is one of them and one of the most recent. Crazy enough, because I've, I've watched this guy play a lot in college and he was so dominant, and I don't know why he sucked in the NFL so bad. Miami Dolphins, Deion Jordan, third overall selection. He played the first year with the Dolphins, was okay, then basically was suspended for two straight years, and has not been good since, and now is the Seattle Seahawks. A complete bust. Philadelphia Eagles, Jay Burwanger, first overall selection. Possibly and probably the most interesting selection in this video, because Jay Burwanger was the first ever draft pick in the first ever NFL draft. But why is he a bust? Because he never even played a snap of professional football. Couldn't agree on a contract, so the first ever draft pick in the history of the NFL ended up being a pretty big bust and not really productive. Atlanta Falcons, Bruce Pickens, third overall selection. Just never really did anything good in the NFL. Only made a career 88 tackles and didn't play well at all for the Falcons. Was supposed to be a lockdown corner, but was almost, well, was basically the opposite. New York Giants, Eric Flowers, ninth overall selection. Basically all you have to do for this one is just ask Giants fans what they think of Eric Flowers. Jacksonville Jaguars, Justin Blackman, fifth overall selection. Justin Blackman, what an interesting career. Was such a great player in college, won the Blitnikoff Award, played okay his rookie season, and is like, I don't even think he's played since. He's been suspended like almost every single season, and he's still suspended too, which is so sad. He had so much talent. New York Jets, Mark Sanchez, fifth overall selection. I'll just let the picture on the screen explain my choice. Detroit Lions, Charles Rogers, second overall selection. Could have gone with Andre Ware, but this is a case where I went with the most recent one. Second overall draft pick as a wide receiver. Another wide receiver they picked early on was uh, Calvin Johnson, and he ended up being a little bit better than Charles Rogers. Charles Rogers was drafted second overall in 2003 and was cut in 2006. Green Bay Packers, Tony Mandrich, second overall selection. He was drafted right behind a guy named Troy Aikman, drafted right before some guy named Barry Sanders, after Barry Sanders was some guy named Derek Thomas, and after him was some guy named Deion Sanders. So in that top five of that draft, Tony Mandrich had a lot to live up to. It was labeled as the best tackle in the history of the NFL draft. <laughs> he wasn't. He definitely wasn't. Carolina Panthers, Ray Carruth, 27th overall selection. This guy played two years in the NFL, and then became a convicted murderer and now is in prison. That, that's not good. New England Patriots, Kenneth Sims, first overall selection. Now, he actually isn't as bad as some of the players on this list, but being the number one overall selection, you're supposed to be like a pro bowler, and he only played 16 games in a season once in his career. Just was only average. Oakland Raiders, Jamarcus Russell, first overall selection. I think we all know how Jamarcus Russell's career went. He actually lives in my city, so uh, like the video if you think I need to try to do a collab with him. LA Rams, Lawrence Phillips, six overall selection. When you're a high overall draft pick as a running back, you're supposed to be great, and he barely got over 1,000 yards rushing in his whole entire career. Baltimore Ravens, Kyle Bowler, 19th overall selection. Wasn't as bad as some of the quarterbacks on this list, but still, as a first round selection and you end up 48 touchdowns, 54 picks in your career, not really warned in a first round selection. Washington Redskins, RG3, second overall selection. And I hate this one so much, dude, because I was such a fan of RG3. And he had a great rookie year. But ever since his injuries, man, he just has not have been the same. And I still wish him the best of luck. Hopefully, somehow, he finds a revamp in his career and can do well elsewhere. But just for the pure fact of how much the Redskins gave up to trade up to select him is why he's on the list. New Orleans Saints, Russell Erksman. 11th overall selection. Why did I pick him? Because it was a punter. It was a punter. They selected a punter in the first round, and he didn't even punt that long for him. He got cut. Seattle Seahawks, Aaron Curry, 4th overall selection. Was out of the NFL in four years. And that's a 4th overall selection. I think you're supposed to last more than four years in the league. Pittsburgh Steelers, 
Huey Richardson, 15th overall. Never made a tackle and never made a sack in 16 career games. <laughs> That's not too good. Houston Texans, David Carr, first overall selection. Now, David Carr, not nearly as bad as a lot of the players on this list. It was not what a number one overall draft pick should have been. Tennessee Titans, Jake Locker, eighth overall selection. And this one upsets me so much, dude. This makes me so sad, dude. When Jake Locker actually played for the Titans, I thought he was pretty good, but he got injured way too much, and after just three years in the league, is retired. And what makes this worse is reports coming out of this draft saying that if Julio Jones would have fell to us, they would have picked him over Jake Locker. How did that end up? Minnesota Vikings, Christian Ponder, 12th overall selection. Once again, not nearly as bad as some of the players on this list, just did not end up being a good starting NFL quarterback. And to his credit, that draft like was not the best quarterback draft, hence why he was drafted so high. But still, when you're a quarterback drafted in the first half of the first round, you're supposed to be better than a career 38 touchdowns and 36 interceptions. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. Like I said at the beginning, let me know who you want your favorite team to draft in the first round of the upcoming NFL Draft. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. If you have any other video ideas like this, let me know in the comment section below. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.